What's up, y'all? This is Brave, and I'm back for another review of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. This is Season 11, Episode 18, and the episode is titled Mad Love. Let's get right into the review. So we see Scrappy, Jock, and Medici's. They are playing golf. They all have no idea what the hell they're doing. And Medici's, he wants to bring up this whole egg donation situation. And I was irritated. Irritated. Because clearly Jock is the only one who has any type of sense. Because here comes Scrappy. He has the same damn logic as Medici's. As far as the baby being Yandy's. I'm just like, okay, I can't take this. Then, Medici's goes on to tell us about how he was offered $100,000 for his sperm. Nigga, who offered you that? Who? I'm like an owl. Who? 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 And I'm just like, you know what? Maybe that happened in Dubai. I can see that being a thing. I can totally see that being a thing. But nonetheless, Yandy told him, no, he can't take the money. Right? So he feels like this is the same. She told him no, so now he's trying to tell her no. Now, he feels like this is still going to affect their lives as well as their children. Next thing you know, they talk about how Scrappy is single and he's about to have this divorce party. Now, of course, he brings up the fact that he had a date with baby mama number one. I'm sorry. Ain't no way I can be with a man or even talk to a man who keeps referring to me as baby mama number one. That shit is so tacky. So the guys, they're a little confused because this man has been seen with Diamond. All across the bro blogs, you have been seen with Diamond. So what are you talking about? You taking Erica and Dixon out on dates. But let's go ahead and move on. Y'all, we see Amy and she is with her ex Mozzie. They are rekindling their relationship. Now, my question is, do he take care of his kids now? Because y'all remember when they was beefing? with each other and she was talking about he don't take care of his kids do he do that now but nonetheless she says that she still loves him and you know my thing is this did he come on to this show or did, should I say did he come back around because you're popping on a tv show or because he really want to be with you so she brings up the fact that you know he did blast her on social media after they broke up and also, we learned that her family is not really feeling Mozzie. You know what I mean? Because of what went down and how he disrespected her and how he was all on social media saying all type of crazy things about her. Now, according to Mozzie, he wants her to drop her friendship or relationship, whatever she got going on with Chaotic. He wants that deaded. Now, next thing you know, we see Rini and Spice. They go do some goat yoga. I'm not interested. And we find out that Rini is planning to invite her kid's dad to one of their, their birthday parties. Good for them. Moving on. We get this random scene of Erica Banks and Young Jock shopping for a car. Y'all, this girl clearly ain't never been nowhere. She over here rolling all on top of the cars. I'm just like, girl, go sit down somewhere. So she ends up telling Jock all this stuff about how she beefing with the label. Then goes on to tell him about her doing a song with Carly and how she beefing with Carly and then the drama with Chaotic and Amy. I'm with Jock on this. Girl, if you spend more time on your music, maybe it can get popping. Instead of all this bullshit you got swirling around in your life. So, Erica has this bright idea that she's going to bring up the whole Bahamas situation at Scrappy's party. Okay, girl, cause the scene. So, next thing you know, we see Chaotic and Amy, they're playing tennis. So, Chaotic, he already knows that Amy is back with Mozzie because he's seen Mozzie around the neighborhood driving Amy's car. Next thing you know, Mozzie pops up. And while Amy is trying to explain that, you know, she's back with Mozzie, uh, Mozzie's like, yeah, that's cool and all. But uh, all this boo baby bestie stuff y'all got going, it has to be stopped. Now, I can't lie. Chaotic is really funny, especially when he laid on that ground talking about how Mozzie was dead to her. <laughs> and then when he said that Mozzie showed up looking like a discounted version of Chaotic, I'm like, you got to be stopped, okay? Chaotic is very funny, but very childish. So they end this scene with them going their separate ways. It seemed like Amy and Chaotic, 
maybe they're not going to be friends. Or at least that's how the show has it set up. Moving on. Rennie is celebrating her son's birthday in South Carolina. You know, her baby daddy shows up. He brought some gifts. I'm like, okay, cool. But baby, baby, the vibe was so awkward. I mean, it was weird. Like, nobody was talking. I was so confused. So, one thing that surprised me, y'all, was the fact that Spice, she actually got her kids some plane tickets so that way they can show up for this party. Because, you know, she loved to send them back to Jamaica. Um, we see Rennie and Spice, they go off and talk. Nothing important was said. And then we see Rennie have a conversation with her ex. And he does apologize for not understanding the kids and how he always used to have an attitude. And, you know, since her mom has passed and she was like there every step of the way with every step of the way with her kids he's gonna have to step it up because somebody's gonna have to be there for these kids and be more involved with them because her mom is not there anymore let's go ahead and move on mozzie is over here cooking for amy and her family and (laughs) amy's family they show up or whatever she tells them how she's back with mozzie Baby, it's clear that they are not here for him, especially her mama. Her mama's like, listen, this man has publicly humiliated you. Why are you taking him back? You know, Amy feels like she has overshared a few things about the relationship with her family because now they can't get over all the things that she said. Like, they're looking at him like he's just scum of the earth. However, Amy really wants to get back with him. He lets them know that they plan on moving in together and the mom is like see this is what i'm talking about that wasn't even your place to tell me that you're moving in with my daughter and i'm like okay i get that he definitely didn't have to say anything i feel like amy was kind of walking on eggshells when it came to telling her family about her getting back with mozzie and i mean i think they'll finally circle back because clearly i think amy and mozzie are still together so I'm pretty sure her family that came around by now. So let's go ahead and move on. Y'all, we get to the Players Ball, a.k.a. Scrappy's Divorce Party. Why were there hood puppets there? I have no idea. Why is Chaotic Chaotic performed that little one song he got? Again, I have no idea. Baby, I'm with Jock on this. This song and then Macarena moves? is sending me okay and i need for it to stop so scrappy he goes outside to talk to diamond and i kind of zoned out in their conversation because her outfit was so atrocious all i know is i heard him talking about how his d was getting hard and how it curved and all of this i'm like wait wait whoa how did we get here i'm a little confused like this whole conversation i was confused Because next thing you know, as she's walking away, he's telling her how, you know, she talked to Mama D too much. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What did I just watch? Now, back inside, we see Erica Banks. She's trying to confront Chaotic about the whole Amy and the Bahamas situation. It went nowhere. Now, she says that she's going to ask Amy about it. Girl, good luck. Now, we see Scrappy. He's talking to Mama D. And he's telling her about his date with Erica. Now, she's shocked because, you know, she was just with Erica and she didn't tell her nothing. I'm just like, uh, maybe because this really wasn't a date for Erica, but it was for Scrappy? I don't know. Nonetheless, um, Scrappy is, you know, noticing that Jock ain't really celebrating. And that's because Jock is not feeling this whole celebration that your your marriage didn't work out (laughs) like it's kind of lame but y'all that was the episode not much happened at least to me and hopefully it picks up next episode go ahead and like comment subscribe to my channel and i will talk to y'all back my next review bye guys